Hey guys, it's Trice here. Back with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game in the most powerful engine series, we're going to be building this V8 engine with the most power with no stress. Still continuing this part of the series of making powerful engines that contains no pistons, no comrades, or no crankshaft stress whatsoever. And before building this engine, I got several comments sitting about what version I'm using in Automation. Currently, I'm in the open beta branch of version 4.2.12 as of making this video. If you want to enroll in the open beta version of this game, check out this YouTube Shorts video on the card system to find out more. So now, let's get started with the engine build. So first things first, on the top of portion of your screen, you set the year to the year of 2020 to maximize the potential, performance, and everything related to this engine. And you have to choose the V9 degree V8 configuration, and on a side note, the V6 degree, you're gonna run into some RPM stress issues with the pistons and I believe the comrades too, so V9 degree, V8 engine it is. With the block material, you may choose any block material that you may choose from, I'm selecting magnesium for the sake of weight. And over here for the bore, you max this out to 120 millimeters of the bore, and the stroke, you'd set this to a 93.1 millimeters, which gets the total engine size to 8,423 cubic centimeters, around 8.4 liters, with a dual overhead cam 5 valve, and again, whatever head material that you may choose from, do an aluminum silicone for weight. And this here quality slider, as you see in the right side of your screen right here, you max this bad boy out to a plus 15 for virtually everything, whether it's for the engine block in general, bottom end, top end, turbo, exhaust, everything, to make it powerful and of course, reliable as possible. For the balance shaft, you are required to have a harmonic damper built in to reduce the crankshaft from exploding on you. And for the rest of the internals, such as the crankshaft, build steel crankshaft, with the cow rod set to lightweight titanium and the piston set to a regular forged. For the compression, it's pretty much straightforward like my previous build, so set it to an extreme level all the way up to a 15.0 to 1 ratio, with the cam profile set nearly to a full bone racing setting of a 92, and the springs and lifters stiffen this quite a bit to a 68. And of course, like always, VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a twin turbo setup with a smart boost system with the intercooler set to 12,100 horsepower. And this should automatically select this for you for the aspiration details, so it's going to be a variable geometry setup with ball bearings. And the compressor size here, you max this out to 120 millimeters. The turbine set to 118 millimeters. The compressor and AR trim max this out to 100. And the maximum boost set to a fairly high 42.1 PSI. For the fuel system, it's just like my previous build, V16, so it's going to be a direct injection throttle persona configuration with a performance high intake, running on the fairly recent DevF fuel, with the fuel mixture maxed out to a 10.0 at a rich setting, the ditch timing set all the way up to an advanced setting of 100, and the max RPM would set to an 8500 RPM. And finally, for the headers, so we're going to be using some turbocharged racing headers with a dual exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 190 millimeters, which equals to 7.5 inches. And finally, no cats, no mufflers, bring that quality up. And we got the final horsepower rating of 4,625.7 horsepower at 8,500 RPM and the torque at 2,862.2 pounds feet of torque at 8,400 RPM. And as we can see here, well, first things first with the little warning right here. The only warning we got is the engine's too rich. This is perfectly fine. But what's also fine is that there is no knocking, no valve float, no piston stress, no comrad stress, and no crankshaft stress for either RPM or torque load. It is all at 0% no matter how hard you look at it. All right, in just a second, I'm going to hear what this engine sounds like. I'm going to do the manual testing ball while running the engine with the graphs that I got set here from the power and torque, torque and boost, torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency graphs. After those four graphs have been shown, I'll show you the engine as is while doing some fake gear shifts for around like 45 seconds roughly and one off the video right there. So bring back the graphs, give you here right now.
So a fair amount of turbo lag and a good amount of frickin' torsion twist with the frickin' engine how the thing was just leaning up in here, folks. Which, that's pretty ridiculous. So that'll do it with Automation the Car Company Tycoon game with this powerful, yet reliable, V8 engine. Being at around 4600 horsepower makes a statement. On a side note, since an engine this powerful runs great in automation, it acts differently in Beam and G as the turbo eventually overheats and blows after driving it for a period of time. That's a warning for this type of engine and any engines that I made in the past, or making any powerful engine in the game. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my automation to Beam and G Drive videos too. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.